This year's annual installation resiliency run coincided with Fort Meade's Army birthday celebration. Hello and welcome to Meade Week, I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, are you ready for the Fort Meade app challenge? More on the Army birthday and new hours at the gym. But first, Fort Meade's largest public event of the year is coming up Friday, June 29th. It's the annual Red, White, and Blue celebration of America's independence. This year's festivities start at 4 o'clock at McLaughlin Parade Field. Live music is being provided by School of Rock, a teenage band from Annapolis, Gene Therapy with some jazz, and classic rock and pop from Till September. Of course, there will be dozens of food and beverage options. There are free inflatable rides for the kids and a lot more. Fireworks start at 9.30. A reminder, please leave pets at home and there are no grills, sparklers, or glass containers allowed. For more information, go to www.me.armymwr.com. In a related story, if you haven't downloaded the Fort Meade app yet, we here at the Public Affairs Office are offering you a good reason to do so at this year's Red, White, and Blue celebration with this year's App Challenge. This year's Aptitude Challenge will run a little bit like last year's. When you arrive at the parade field, what you're going to want to do is first make sure you downloaded the Fort George G. Meade app from your app store. Then go to the bulletin section and there you will find the instructions on how to play the game, what your tasks are, and what your challenges are. Go to the Aptitude Challenge tent in the middle of the parade field where you'll be then entered to win an Echo Spot courtesy of Corvius. Kuiper adds getting more people to use the app makes it more effective. Yes, the game is fun, but we really want you to understand that this is where you can go to get alerts on gate closures, road issues, or other alerts that come up. We also want to make sure that you are connected with the people in Fort Meade that you need to get in touch with easily and effectively. Plus, it's a way for us to get information out to you. In other news, Fort Meade celebrated the Army's 243rd birthday last week. The Association of the United States Army, or AUSA, held their annual breakfast and cake cutting at Club Meade. Okay, now lift the saber. One, two, three. And down. All right. Yeah. 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 This year's guest speaker was Turhan Robinson, the senior civilian aide to the Secretary of the Army. Robinson used the occasion to talk about being a soldier for life. And that's the key thing, a transition. Transition from soldier to citizen. The transition from citizen to soldier to, to, to citizen again. We have that transition, and the Social Life Program gives you that transition. And it means, in fact, if you served at any time on active duty, you are a soldier for life. In MWR news, starting on July 5th, the fitness centers will have new operating hours. Here's a quick breakdown. At Gaffney Fitness Center, they'll start closing at 8 p.m. Monday through Friday. This is a change from the current 9 o'clock. Weekend hours at Gaffney remain unchanged. The indoor pool will close an hour earlier on Mondays, a half hour on Tuesdays. Wednesdays are unchanged, Thursdays a half hour, and the weekends are unchanged. Looking at Murphy Fieldhouse, they'll be closing an hour earlier Monday through Friday. The weekend schedule remains the same. For more information, go to www.me.armymwr.com. One final note from MWR, the library's annual summer reading program started this week. It continues through the end of August. The theme this year, reading takes you everywhere. You can sign up for the reading program anytime. Just go to fortme.beanstack.org slash reader365. Everyone will receive prizes just for signing up and incentive prizes the more you read. That's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week. Every day, veterans use mobile applications to securely manage their VA care, refilling prescriptions, viewing their healthcare information, sending and receiving messages and health information to and from their VA care teams. The VA App Store gives you one place to find all of these apps and more whenever you need them, wherever you need them. The VA App Store provides access to dozens of applications that are designed specifically for veterans, caregivers, and VA staff, and are backed by the security of DS Logon, My Healthy Vet Premium, and ID.me. Are you a VA employee? Help test our VA apps before they launch nationwide on the VA Beta App Store. Be a part of app development by providing feedback to help us keep improving and optimizing. Do you have a question about the apps? Our help desk representatives are available 12 hours a day, Monday through Friday. The VA App Store is here for you, for your life, your health, your schedule. Learn more today.